It's disappointing, you know, that we have to be standing outside the federal U.S. Yeah. courthouse in Minneapolis uh, saying, uh, don't torture. Today is um, International Human Rights Day, which was begun in 1948 through the U.N. And um, we are honoring that day and we are asking that we remember our human rights and that we have to protect them through the law and we haven't done that particularly with torture. We have been criminal and nothing has been done about it. And you cannot debate a criminal statute that you cannot say, well, is it, is it okay or not? It's criminal. I'm Gary King from Amnesty International. Today is Human Rights Day, December 10th, when every nation in the United Nations, over 100 countries, signed the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. And it says things like, we're not going to be doing torture. And it's absolutely terrible that, to this day, the U.S. government is doing torture. President Bush, two weeks ago on his book tour, is bragging that he had a policy of torture. And yet nobody will either say he's wrong, that this is not America's policy, nor will they prosecute him for saying and doing those things he did. What can the average citizen do? Well, the first thing you can do is write to your representative and senator and say, this is intolerable. We thought we were a nation of laws. We thought we were democratic. We thought that we had signed international covenants. We thought we believed in the, uh, the Eighth Amendment. It says there will be no cruel and an unusual punishment done in America. Obama promised there would be investigations. He said there would be prosecutions of those who broke laws. Well, guess what? Waterboarding is torture. It has always been torture. He has stated it is torture, and I don't see any prosecution. So we have to ask our Congress people, are you representing us? Is this the way that we're going to have Washington run? I'm, I'm here to say no to torture. It's, it's, uh, it's wrong, it doesn't work. It comes back to bite us. It doesn't get us what we want. It's abominable. I decided to, that I should be here because it's Human Rights Day and, and I don't like the way we treat people in this country by putting them in prison and then torturing them. So. Uh, we're the old, oh. the golden oldies that kind of got this thing going. Diane Steen Hinderley and Lois Swenson. Okay. And it was uh, in, it's been six years now. It was Christmas of uh, 2004, which was the year that the Abu Ghraib um, photos hit. And um, the two of us were at a uh, cry justice conference on the 12th day of Christmas which was wise man day, that's called epiphany in the church. We're two salty Lutherans. And uh, with one other woman, the three of us, I call us the three wise women on wise man day, <laughs> we, we started a caucus to talk about torture because Gonzales was up for attorney general. We know we've been working against uh, Donald uh, I've been here a lot, but I oh, got a bigger bladder. I guess I got a bladder that works. I guess being Human Rights Day, I think it uh, would be so nice if the president would obey the law and uh, also suggest to his underlings, like B. Todd Jones, his attorney here in the state of Minnesota, to bring charges to an, for an investigation into the past practices of torture. And are we making any progress in that effect? Probably about as much progress as we're making in Afghanistan. Backwards. <laughs> Two paces forward, three backwards. Well, tell me what you're doing, Sonia. What? What are you up doing? We're going to go ask um, Vita Jones or anybody there who would like to come down and to talk to us in honor of International Human Rights Day. If they're available, we'll be down here. Thanks. We might introduce Paul. I will. 
too, right? But mention that she's down here even though she's recovering from cancer. <laughs> Um, okay, so you're we got lost. through the gates and then they said we have to call up and tell them that you're down here and and so then we stayed down here and waited until someone came down here to see us and we talked with them for quite a while and telling what we were about and, and uh, we had a long conversation with him. We got nowhere. Of course, he got one of these and, and he um, and he was sympathetic but he got the spiel and he knows and glad we're not here tomorrow when we're going to get two feet of snow. Well, how do you feel about it? It goes nowhere. <laughs> it's a kind of a ritual we go through. We dance the dance kind of.